Hey guys, so this week on D3 Live, we're going to be talking about the Google Nexus Prime, the third version of the Nexus series. So what the Nexus phones have always been about, starting with the Google Nexus One and followed with the Google Nexus S, is going to be a phone that has the newest, latest version of Android without any kind of scans or any kind of modifications at all, and on the best hardware available at the time. Now both the Nexus One and the Nexus S both were really, really good phones when they first came out, and like I said, they had a lot of the highest end specs and all that kind of stuff, and I expect this to be ex the exact same thing with the Nexus Prime. Now some of the things we do know about this is that it's going to have a ridiculous display of a high definition 720p display. Uh, now most phones, even the iPhone is capped out as a retina, uh, as a retina display, uh, 640 by 960 and that's great, don't get me wrong, but 720p is even better and with such a high pixel density it's almost going to be, you know, just useless. It's going to be just ridiculously clear and crisp, especially if it's something like a Super AMOLED or anything like that. Uh, so the display on the Nexus Prime is going to be top notch absolutely without a question. On top of that, it very likely will have a quad-core processor, so kind of entirely leapfrogging the whole dual-core processor in the Nexus line. They're going to go straight from single-core to quad-core. I know a quad-core obviously is going to give you a ton of power. It's not even funny how well the graphics are going to look. And in fact, with a quad-core processor and with the GPU, I would not be surprised if the graphics do approach the Xbox 360 and the PlayStation 3. Now, I do want to stress it's going to approach. It's not going to be quite as good, obviously, but for a phone, it's going to be absolutely outstanding. Uh, now, there are a lot of other things that we've heard about this, and that's all going to be rumored. I don't want to talk a little bit on about all the details and what networks not it's going to be on, but the major thing about the whole reason that the Nexus Prime exists is to show off the brand new version of Android Ice Cream Sandwich. Uh, so this next delicious tasty treat from the folks over at Mountain View is going to be a really, really o good overhaul of, my of Minecraft. Wrong game. <laughs> of Android. Uh, so... With Ice Cream Sandwich, they're getting a lot of the cool things from Honeycomb, which is what the, uh, all the Google tablets run, for example, the Zoom, the Galaxy Tab, etc., etc., and merging it together with standard Android to give it a little bit of a better look. Uh, so if you guys have ever tried an Android tablet before, you know it's got a very kind of like Tron-esque theme, and it's you know very blue, but it's very you know futuristic, and, and it's pretty cool. I expect a lot of that stuff will carry over into Ice Cream Sandwich. Now beyond that, of course, I don't want to get into it too much. They will be most likely showing this phone off in the next couple of months or so, and we'll know a little bit more then. Uh, but suffice it to say, I'm absolutely looking forward to taking a look at what the Google Nexus Prime has to offer. Anyway, guys, for the second segment of D3 Live, I will be taking live questions from everyone in the chat. As always, every episode of D3 Live is filmed in front of a live audience. We've got quite a few people here today, so let's just take a couple of questions. Motorola Core or Unlocked Nexus Prime? Uh, well, the thing is, those, that's one tablet and that's one phone, so it's kind of hard to tell. Um, the core looks pretty great, um, but of course it's been you know, it's a quad core tablet. It's going to be pretty similar in specs to the uh, Nexus Prime, but of course it is kind of hard to uh, compare. You know, a phone and a tablet. They do, of course, do very different things. Although they are kind of similar, just one's bigger. <laughs> well, gaming take over YouTube. Um, I don't think anything's ever going to take over YouTube. I mean, YouTube's always going to be very. There's going to be all kinds of different niches from everything from tech to comedy to gaming to you name it. Um, but that said, I do think gaming is a huge part of YouTube right now, and I definitely think it is going to continue to grow and continue to be a really major part of the site, which is, I think, good for everyone. Um, will this be made by Samsung again or Motorola? You know, I'm not 100% sure. We've heard a little, I've heard some things about Samsung, perhaps, but of course, it's still up in the air. I wouldn't be surprised if it was perhaps Motorola or back to HTC or whatever, but I will say that I have heard a little bit about Samsung maybe making the Nexus Prime, so... Take that, with, take that with a grain of salt, but that's what I've heard. Um, Amazon Tablet. That's a great question. Um, I was telling these guys uh, before we started recording. Um, the Amazon Tablet, and I'll probably be making a full video on it at some point, but the Amazon Tablet is going to look really, really cool. So if you guys have not heard, Amazon is planning on building a tablet, making, of course, their own special version of the Android tablet. Um, it will be running a version of Android. I don't know what version it will be, but it will almost definitely be customized. to have the Amazon App Store... Uh, Amazon M3, MP3, all the different things that you would expect out of Amazon, but it also will be a mo most likely a quad-core processor, so very, very powerful. And on top of that, we've heard that it very well be at like hundreds of dollars less than the iPad, which would equate to a price around $300. Uh, so if you can get a quad-core processor and a tablet for 300 bucks that's actually built well, and of course Amazon, you know, I, I kind of trust them to make some pretty decent stuff, um, I'll be very, very impressed. I think that would be really awesome. But of course, um, definitely stay tuned. I probably will be doing a full video on that once we hear a little bit more about it. But uh, from what I've heard, the Amazon tablet absolutely seems awesome. Um, can you only jailbreak Apple products? 
Well, jailbreaking is just another, you know, form of hacking. You know, like just ch tweaking, modding, whatever you want to call it. Um, you know, it, you can do that kind of stuff, jailbreaking, for a lot of different products. Um, it's just called different things. Like sometimes it's called rooting. Sometimes it's called homebrew. Um, you know, there's a lot of different things, but yeah, you can do uh, hacking or whatever you like to call it on several other different products other than just Apple iPhones and that kind of stuff. Uh, what do I think about Steve Jobs? Um, I think that I don't care what you say about Apple or anything like that. You've got to give Steve Jobs credit. He came up well under Apple with him. So many great ideas and so many great products came out. I mean, the Macintosh, um, you know, the original iMac, um, you know, the big uh, green and blue and purple ones and all that kind of stuff. I don't actually, I didn't think. I don't think they made purple, but close enough. Whatever. Uh, of course, the iPods, the iPhones, the iPads—all these products that really did have a major impact on the world and tech world and everything. So, I mean, I know a lot of people don't disagree with uh, a lot of people do disagree with Apple's you know, policy and all that kind of stuff, and I can understand that. But I don't think anyone can deny that Steve Jobs was a real, um, a, a really special person, a really person who had an eye for you know what made an idea great, and I think that. Apple is maybe not going to really start hurting now that he's gone, but it's definitely a sad day for the tech industry as a whole. Um, what kind of chips do you think will be inside the iPad 4? Um, I don't know about the iPad 4. It's Who knows what will be around by then, but I do think the iPad 3 will most likely have a quad-core processor. Uh, it just makes sense. Most, the, Pretty much the entire industry is moving over from dual-core to quad-core, um, and I wouldn't... I don't see any reason why the, the next Apple A6 chip, I suppose it would be, um, in the iPad and the iPhone and everything next year wouldn't be uh, quad core. Anyway, guys, that's going to be about it for this episode of D3 Live. If you guys enjoyed, definitely be sure to subscribe. I do D3 Live every Saturday at 3 o'clock Eastern Time. You guys can feel free to come watch the show live on Blog TV or watch the pre-record episodes on YouTube.